Minister, welcome to the studios of CBX. Thank you for having me. My very first time in, in studio. I'm happy to be here. And I'm happy it won't be the last. Yes. <laughs> well, Minister, talk to us about that green bond initiative that you would have launched. Right. So, I mean, first of all, what are green bonds? Uh, right? mm -hmm. uh, green bonds are uh, financial instruments mm -hmm. where the use of proceeds of mm -hmm. the funds are for sustainable, mm -hmm. social, or green slash climate related mm -hmm. uh, uses. Yes. Okay? So the platform enables <clears throat> green bond investors mm -hmm. to find green projects to invest in. Okay. As you know, uh, certainly as far as the, the, the world is concerned, this avenue of financing has grown Tremendous, uh, tremendously over the past few years. The mm -hmm. number of investors in North America, mm -hmm. Europe, and, the, and Asia mm -hmm. who want to earn money but yes. are prepared to earn less than they would normally earn mm -hmm. if the money is being used for sustainable and green purposes. Mm -hmm. But the challenge that they have is uh, being able to have the assurance that what somebody promotes as a green investment is indeed a green mm -hmm. investment. So what this platform at the Stock Exchange does is to provide that assurance to the mm -hmm. green bond investor marketplace mm -hmm. that it has a transparent mechanism mm -hmm. of certifying a particular bond as green. Mm -hmm. right? and, and it certifies it as green by virtue of what the use of proceeds are going to be and other criteria. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, it's a great, uh, I, I think it's a, a fantastic uh, step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, we just experienced burial. Oh, yes. We are in a natural disaster uh, mm -hmm. sort of envelope. Mm -hmm. And Jamaica has to put in strategies that allow mm -hmm. us to be resilient. and. We have been very big on disaster risk financing, having mm -hmm. the saving product and the insurance products that deliver money or resources mm -hmm. in the event of a natural disaster, but that is not enough. Mm -hmm. We also have to engage in adaptation, mm -hmm. which is making the kind of provisions to limit the damage in the first place. Oh, right? very important. So when you think about when a hurricane passes, the damage can, the same hurricane hitting mm -hmm. the same place can have a damage of a dollar, or damage of $10. Mm -hmm. It depends on so many things, how you build, how you mm -hmm. live, etc. Mm -hmm. right? So we need to engage in adaptation projects mm -hmm. to improve the resilience of our environment, the resilience of our mm -hmm. infrastructure. So when the hurricanes come, mm -hmm. as they will, we lessen the financial impact of them. But the problem with adaptation is that it costs money. It does. <laughs> it costs money. And the green initiative is to provide an avenue of financing that makes something more mm -hmm. economically feasible because green investors will are prepared to live with mm -hmm. a smaller return. Mm -hmm. For a bigger purpose, For and a bigger, bigger cause. A bigger cause. Mm -hmm. Jamaica, as, as, as you indicated, Minister, would fall in that zone where, where climate change is, is, you know, has significant impact on us. And, um, as you rightly said, this initiative certainly will be one that would help us to, to, to cover some of the, to, or to mitigate yes. some of the risks in that regard. How do you see, uh, how, how, in your interactions internationally, how are we seen as, as you know, f from the position of investors overseas, you know, looking at foreign direct investment through this kind of initiative? So Jamaica is seen quite fair, favorably now because mm -hmm. of the improvements in, econ in our economy, mm -hmm. the performance of our uh, economy and our you know, reduced debt load, our higher international mm -hmm. reserves, our low unemployment. Jamaica's economic fundamentals are seen as very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever I, I travel on these roadshows and non-deal roadshows, uh, the question I get a lot is, look, you know, this a particular investor would say, we have a green mandate. Yes. We can only invest in green projects. Do you have any green initiatives mm -hmm. that I can invest in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are putting this platform in place um, as a result of what we see here in Jamaica in terms of our needs, but also yes. in response to the supply that is, all, that is available. Mm -hmm. 
And, and we are seeing good supply. Available. We're seeing good interest, right. you know, for people looking for green projects in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, another area, Minister, while, while we, you're here on the green initiative, another area is, is I know you've been big on renewable energy. We've seen, we've seen what Wigton has done and some of the changes there. Um, but also, you've, you've, you've done some tax adjustments recently in that regard. Correct. Talk so we, did, we introduced an income tax credit Mm -hmm. that will uh, provide households or mm -hmm. individuals with uh, an income tax credit mm -hmm. if they uh, utilize their own capital mm -hmm. to put renewable installations in their house, well, in particular, solar yes. power installations in their house. Mm -hmm. So essentially, what a tax credit means is that the government will allow you to write off Mm -hmm. the, a certain amount of the capital expenditure against your taxes, so you pay less taxes. Less taxes the forward. financial impact of it is that up to a certain value, and I think the value is about 3 million Jamaican dollars or so, what essentially it means that the government mm -hmm. ends up paying 25% of it, right? mm -hmm. because your, your taxes would be reduced by that by amount. That, by by that. The, let, let's, say your in, let's say the solar ins installation costs 3 million, Mm -hmm. Let's say your um, your income is is six is four million, mm -hmm. and uh, well, I don't want to do the example. Let me let me not do the example <laughs> on air because you, then you have tax threshold to consider and so on. Yes. So let me not, mm -hmm. and it's not wrong. It's not an even number anymore. It's mm -hmm. one point seven now. Yes. So <laughs> let me be careful there. Thanks but, to you, of course. <laughs> thank, yes, indeed. But the idea is that you get um, a tax benefit, mm -hmm. a financial benefit, if mm -hmm. you put a solar insulation on your house. So the government is helping you pay for it. Mm -hmm. right? uh, and, and in so doing, making you more resilient and making mm -hmm. Jamaica more resilient. Minister, um, Jamaica is in a different place as we talk about investors, um, maybe from 10, 15 years ago. And, and, and your management of, of the financial markets, really, and, and, and how private sector has been able to use the financial sector, the capital markets to drive expansion, has, has really been a, a, a feather in your, in your cap. How, how do you see that going forward in terms of the importance of the capital markets and places like the Jamaica Stock Exchange? I'm very proud of the fact that Jamaica mm -hmm. has the deepest and more durable, most durable capital markets in the entire Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And I would go further to say the, most, the deepest and most durable capital markets in the Caribbean and Central American region. Mm -hmm. And it's a position that we should continue to strive to maintain. Capital markets are incredibly important mm -hmm. in providing intermediation between, users of, between providers of capital mm -hmm. and users of capital. And that makes our economy work more efficiently. Mm -hmm. As, as uh, one, of the, one of the questions we, we get very often, though, Minister, is, and, and, and so yes, you're looking at renewable energy. Yes, we're looking at the, the green bond and the green um, investment sectors. One of, the, one of the areas that we definitely see as a big area of growth um, for Jamaica is the orange economy. And, and we've done well in that economy. I think bringing the financial sector together with the entrepreneurs from that economy seems still to be a big challenge. Is there a role for government in that, you think, Minister? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, making, you know, the common thread mm -hmm. is improving access to finance. Yes. Right? So improving access to finance for persons who are in the orange economy is a very, very important uh, you know, priority of government because mm -hmm. that economy is so deep. Mm -hmm. It provides so much by way of employment. Mm -hmm. uh, people ply their trade overseas and, mm -hmm. you know, bring back, you know, earn money overseas that they are able to bring back and so mm -hmm. on. So, you know, we, um, we are always uh, open to and thinking about new ways mm -hmm. in which we can support the orange economy. You might want to make sure everybody who is listening to you understands what orange economy means. Of course, it's, it's really the creative sector, and, yes. and, and, and we were talking about uh, a trillion dollar industry worldwide. Yeah, and, and, and just, <laughs> just last year, uh, we put up a billion dollars over two years yes. 
to fund film initiatives. Mm -hmm. right? So before that never existed. You, mm -hmm. you know, you'd be on your knees begging. But today, mm -hmm. Jamaica has a film fund initiative yes. where screenwriters, producers, directors mm -hmm. can apply to and get funding mm -hmm. uh, for a film. So yes. we expect to see an explosion of Jamaican content mm -hmm. over the next few years as a result of that initiative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Minister, as, as you look, um, and I know your time is very short, as you, as you look at um, moving forward the Jamaican economy, what do you think is the, the big ticket items that's really going to get our economy growing in a big way? Yeah. Over the long term, it's going to have to be education. Education. Yeah, it's going to have to be improving human capital mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and making each individual more, you know, giving each individual the capacity to be more productive mm -hmm. so that the kinds of investments that are made uh, in Jamaica are investments that require uh, higher um, skill sets, skill sets and intellect. therefore higher income. Mm -hmm. That's the key. At the end mm -hmm. of the day, it's about developing people. So it's, 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 it's moving our people to a it's higher level. It's moving our people to a higher level. Where yes. we can be earning. Correct. And, and, and thus the, the, the government, by extension, would then get more taxes. Well, if, yes. if, 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 Minister, we have been an economy, well, a country, that generally we have um, a lot of migration, but the remittances come back. Yeah. And, and, and the remittances are a big part of Remittances of are significant, and we're grateful to mm -hmm. all the Jamaicans in the diaspora who faithfully send mm -hmm. funds back to their relatives. Mm -hmm. uh, remittances are uh, a huge source of foreign mm -hmm. exchange for Jamaica. Following on your developing the education of our people, should we be looking to preparing people for exports, deliberately exporting more services, more intellectual capital, rather well, than seeing it, it as a brain drain? No, I wouldn't. Well, I would say that what we want to do is to produce more and more numbers of skilled and educated people so that mm -hmm. if some decide to leave, mm -hmm. we are not left high and dry. Mm -hmm. We just need to increase the numbers. Mm -hmm. Minister, I'm not going to hold up your time a yes. lot. Um, what's it, what's, what, what would you want to leave on the minds of the viewers of CBX? Well, today. right now, today, we launched an exciting thing, the Green uh, Social Sustainable and Sustainably Linked uh, platform. And, mm -hmm. you know, it'd be good for your uh, viewers to get familiar with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Jamaica uh, tries to and, and pursues a path of increasing its resilience uh, with the certain knowledge that, you know, natural disasters, mm -hmm. hurricanes are a feature of life, but we're not going to surrender to them. We're going to make sure we take responsibility for our vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. Minister, thank you very much thank for coming for and me. talking with us yes. on CBX today. Thanks for having um, me. All right. As we always say here on Let's Talk Stocks, we give you information to make better financial decisions. Come back with us. Tomorrow morning at 9, we'll have another insightful program lined up for you.